Well guys, welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. I'm going to talk about security today. And if you're using a cloud server, an EC2, a Linode, an Azure VM, whatever you want to call it, it's very likely that you're using a Linux distribution operating system. You know, there's also Microsoft Server, but we're not going to touch those today. I'm going to focus on Linux, in particular, the Ubuntu distribution. So whenever you log in th into your machine via SSH, you might be greeted with a message that looks like this, right? And if you look carefully, you might see that the, in my cases, there's 31 updates that can be applied immediately. And what are those? So those updates normally are security patches, bug fixes, stability enhancements, and things like that. So they're very important, in particular, the security patches, because most of those are actually developed after a threat has been identified that is going around. So if you do not apply those patches, those fixes, you essentially are wide open to those attacks. And so it is in your best interest to keep those patches applied and ready, especially if you're holding, you know, secure or... So it, is your... so it is in your best interest to keep these patches applied to your machine so you can sleep peacefully at night. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to apply those patches manually first and then how we can do that process automatically. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to update and upgrade apt with this command. So the command sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade, it's two commands in one line and essentially it updates the package list from the sources specified in etc apt sources.list and it upgrades the packages installed on the system to the latest available versions. So the sudo in the beginning allows you to run the command with admin privileges and apt is the package manager of Ubuntu that helps you essentially install, update, manage all the software packages that you use. And the update option updates the packages list. And finally, upgrade option upgrades the packages to the latest versions. So in this case, after I run the command, it goes through a few lines and it tells me there is this new package that it will be installed and these packages can be upgraded. Right. And so you, it asks you for confirmation and I'm going to say yes. And it's done. OK, now this is the manual way. And as I say, you want to keep this process streamlined and automatic. So one way to do this is to use this command. So with sudo apt install unattended upgrades, you would install this piece of software. Uh, that will help you to automatize this process. In my case, I already have installed it, so it tells me that nothing was changed, right? Once you do that, you can more granularly configure it. Uh, so for example, if I go sudo nano and then etc apt apt conf d, uh, essentially this line here, which I always leave all these lines in the comments. So I'm going to go in here and you'll know that there's a lot of descriptions and commented lines. So it would be worth it for you to have a read, right? So you have a read because it's really well written, right? Uh, it's uh, very well explained and it tells you exactly what uh, each of these commands would do. So for example, if you if I want to do unattended upgrade with minimal steps, then I would uncomment this line. And if I want to apply, you know, what says in this piece of text right here, so the unattended upgrade, install and shutdown, I would un uncomment this right so you can very uh you can tweak how exactly you want this uh process to be done in the future so it's not that big but you can have an eye there and once you're happy with your changes um you get out of there now we can add a cron job a cron job to uh essentially set a time in a moment where you want to apply these uh, unattended changes automatically if you go to crontab.l, you can see a list of the cron tabs you might have. In this particular machine, I don't have any cron tabs. So to add a new one, I'm just going to do crontab uh, hyphen e. And then at the very end here of this uh, file, I would, uh, you, you can choose how granular you want it to be. And in this case, what I'm doing is that every day at 1 a.m., it's going to run this command, unattended upgrade minus D. And then I would save this. 
save modify buffer yes and here you go now if i do cron tab dot l uh i know it's cron tab dot dash l you can see my cron job is ready to run tonight at 1 a.m if i exit this machine and connect again right it says zero updates can be applied immediately because i'm done for now i'm done okay all right guys well that's all for it be careful uh take care of your security this is just one very simple thing that you could be doing and it can go a long way to protect your information and your data from black hatters out there all right and i'll see you next time this is carlos for cloud and web developer have a good day bye bye